Today's video is going to talk about how you can change the look of your project very easily inside SketchUp using styles. My name is Katrina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools and today's video is going to be a very nice simple video for you especially if you're using only SketchUp to show the images of your project. So normally your project inside SketchUp if you have some vegetation from the 3D warehouse or imported from the other website is going to look something like this. Okay, so you have amazing really good quality uh, vegetation in the 3D warehouse and uh, if you want to check it out some videos I talked about vegetation um, you ha we have some videos in your YouTube channel but your project is going to look something like this but the cool thing about SketchUp is that you can change really easily the look of your uh, project very easy using styles so if you're not familiar with styles you have the default styles so you have you have here on the right side in the tray uh, i'm using a pc is going to look something very similar in if you're using a mac but you have your default styles that you're familiar with you have some um if you go to a more uh, sketchy edge styles uh, you have something like this so this is kind of cool i think to uh, to show us sometimes a bit of uh, concept images and you have things like this uh, not great if using this kind of palm trees it doesn't show the leaf really nice just some, some really blocky uh, parts and okay you're familiar with this this is the default that comes with your sketch the SketchUp program but if you want something a little bit different to upload to your SketchUp project just to make it a bit more maybe um, more natural a bit more sketchy um, but still ha having all the capabilities of adding measurements and things like this in layout there is some websites there are some websites that you can uh, download some styles some uh, most of them free some of them paid I'm going to share with you right now so I just found this guy, this is Jean Martin, I think he's Italian, uh, and he has really cool styles. You can see in his portfolio, he has some really nice images. I'm just, I've chosen this one for you just to take a look. And this is using SketchUp. I'm sure he did some, maybe he did some Photoshop thing, but it, it's, it just shows you the possibility using only SketchUp and just using styles and um, what you can achieve. This is for sure using a bit of Photoshop as well. Uh, but it's really cool what you can achieve and it's just something different not ultra realistic or almost uh, rendering like Lumion and Twinmotion and things like this this is just to show you that if you're only using only SketchUp you can do a lot okay you can show your images you can show the ambience you're trying to create just using this software but and it has some in it's really cool because it has some files you can download and it shows you here uh, you can download for free from his website i will have his website in the description of this video but the one i really love is this one okay uh, so this is the one I, i've downloaded and i'm going to show it to you how it looks inside SketchUp. So what you do is actually you download the file and it will look something like uh, extracted um, um, uh, uh, a, a folder that you need to extract sorry and you have something like this so this is a style builder format okay file. So what you do here in your uh, SketchUp model if you go to styles okay and you have here the arrow you open or create a collection and I, I will uh, advise you after to just if you if you if you're having quite a few styles after or if you start uh, doing your own styles because we're going to talk about it we you can do your own styles uh, is just to have a actually library folder for this okay so this is the one this is some other uh, um, some other uh, files some other styles I've downloaded from him just to check it out but this is the one I like so this is the folder I'm going to select select folder and it's going to appear here the style okay so straight away I can just click on it and the, the it will change the, the style of my model so as you can see this is really nice I love it I love the is is um, I mean uh, uh, this is a wall now let me just show you I really love his style of imaging it just feels more sketchy it feels really really 
nice just to to be able to show your your project in a new way to your client so you can easily use this to show a more conceptual uh, kind of feeling for example i'm just going to show you here in my layout okay i've done a couple of images from that project and it looks really cool plus you can still have all the capabilities of you know just having quick measurements uh, to this kind of um, uh, plan view uh of your of your of your model so but still with that feeling of sketchy and more conceptual and not so um straight edge kind of thing uh, that you have from default in sketchup so i'm just going to show you something and in styles if you go here in edit you can see all the settings of this particular style and you can you know just if you want to to, to be adventurous a little bit and just try it on and see if what looks better for you. You can try it on and change a little bit the styles, for example, hide extensions or show extensions. The profiles, you'll change straight away, okay? Uh, the edges, if you hide the edges or uh, show the edges, dashes, things like this. I'm just gonna put by default again because I like the way it was. Uh, and here you have the, the some more settings. The ones I really want to show you is the watermarks because what you can do here is you can actually upload more images if you if you want to. Imagine that you're using images for your social networks using this this um, this style. You can just quickly come here and for example add a logo. Okay. I'll do as a, an overlay for my logo, just that. Okay, next. I'll create a mask just because maybe I want it white. And you can blend, you can make it more soft, okay? And this is some settings you can come back to it after if you're not happy with it. Um, I'm going to position it on the screen and maybe I'll put here in the corner and you can scale it down, okay? So just like a, a watermark kind of thing, if you want, but you can, you know, whatever you choose, you can come on top. Okay. You just don't want to be messing. And this is just, I won't put this for uh, an image I'll share with a client. For example, I would just add it for social networks or something like this. Okay. And you here and here, what shows you here in the styles, when you have, you have all the images that are used uh, in this style. Uh, what this shows you is what's in the back. So in the back you have this watermark uh, um, image. Then you have, the, it's just the layers, okay? For, so from the back to front, first is the watermark, then is the model, then you have this mask uh, image, and then you have this watercolor overlay again. And if you click on them and you go here to edit watermark settings, you can see what um, settings it has for that specific image. So in here, you can see that the, uh, the last layer, this watercolor layer is really bland just because it just wants to show a little bit of texture of that image. So it's pretty, pretty cool. And if you're thinking in exploring and maybe doing your own styles, imagine that you want this, uh, you have, want something like this similar water uh, mark. Okay, but you want maybe a different color, maybe a different shape of uh, watercolor. Um, paint you can just to see how we uh, how we did it and uh, and uh, maybe show something you can just download here and try it on maybe substitute that one uh, do something in photoshop and upload it here to the styles so it's pretty cool what you can do so you, and you can delete okay or add new ones so you know just like i add the logo so try it on and see if you can create your own style uh, really important after is actually to save your style. So when you come here and you have your style here, if it's a new one, pre for example, you can go and save as. That's why I think it's important if you want to explore different styles, maybe create a library and I will be quite descriptive if possible of the style. Okay. So if it's something that you want for more conceptual, just straight lines and whites, uh, maybe do something like that uh, and describe it in the when you give it a name just for it to be easy after um, and after you can just come here and and um, you can see here the button create a new style just using uh, one and you can add 
like this as well. But after you can come here and just open your, uh, um, your library and uh, you have here all your styles, okay? So this is really cool. I just wanted to give you these examples of some things, some of the scenes I've added uh, this style so I think it works really well for this concept images so I just wanted to show you how to co uh, to compare uh, the default uh, kind of image you've got from uh, from uh, SketchUp okay it still works and I think it works fine um, but I think if you're looking for something a bit more conceptual and artistic I think this is really a good solution using styles to create these different um, kind of images. Oh, I, I love this one. Not not all the styles work for me particular, but I, I really love this this one from uh, this um, Gian Martin. I think it's his name. Uh, check out his website. I will have in the link in the description of this video. Uh, I wanted to to show you as well. SketchupArtists.org uh, has a few styles for free as well that you can uh, try it on. Um, and some of them really important just before we go if you some of the styles you're not you know uh, enjoying so much maybe because the texture of the of the of the image they have is too big or too small you can always come to the style you're using press edit and if you if you for example if the texture is too big you can change here in the setting the scale of the text so imagine some of the styles from that sketch of artist artwork are like the texture is really like this big so if you want to just you know do a little bit smaller texture you can change it very quickly here just don't forget if it's something that you're working on and you really love the style you finish with just save it okay save it because to be able to use it in future projects uh, another one so you have here a few styles to check it out so i'm gonna have this in the description of the video okay uh, plus you have in uh, styles in sketchup sketchup sketch education i can never say uh, sorry <laughs> sketch education okay education sketchup yeah um, but some of them are paid, I think, but they are free if you premium uh, register. Uh, but yeah, try it on, see, see what you think. Uh, if it's something you love, I think it's worth buying it because uh, you can, you know, use it for all your uh, SketchUp projects, especially if you're using only SketchUp to do your uh, final renderings. Um, but yeah, you can change skies. We're going to explore more in the future what you can do inside SketchUp to really change the default image of your SketchUp project. But st styles having something like this very quickly, simple, very easy and that you can apply to all your projects. So I hope you enjoy it. If you want to check out our online courses, I'll have that in the description of this video as well. We have in SketchUp and soon we're going to have more uh, workshops like layout and stuff like this. Uh, see you guys in the next.